Hello everyone, this is Dr. Indrani Paul and I am here today to welcome you to this exciting session where we will be diving into the world of bibliometry, a powerful tool to visualize and analyze scientific knowledge. Whether you are a student, researcher or educator, understanding bibliometric analysis can truly change the way you approach literature review, track research trends or plan your next project. Have you ever wondered what connects a groundbreaking cancer paper in India with a drug development lab in Sweden? No, right? But that's the power of bibliometry. Today, we are unlocking the secrets of research networks using a tool that's free and fun and fiercely effective, that is VOS Viewer. Whether you want to map global trends or sharpen your thesis references, this video will show you that how in just a few minutes you can do that. But before getting into the details, we must know what is bibliometry or a bibliometric analysis. So uh, bibliometry is a quantitative analysis of scientific literature. It involves using mathematical and statistical tools to evaluate the patterns in publication data such as uh, the number of articles published, citation frequencies, author collaborations, uh, keyword trends and also uh, journal impacts. So the key aspects of um, bibliometry is how to track knowledge and uh, how uh, the knowledge that has been shared over the internet has been created, shared and cited. And uh, besides that, it also identifies influential papers, authors, institutions as well as journals. This also reveals a great deal about the emerging research trends and gaps of literature in any field of research. VOS Viewer is a free software tool used for constructing and visualizing bibliometric networks. It was developed by Leiden University Center for Science and Technology Studies CWTS. It helps users explore relationships in between scientific literatures. The core functions of VOS Viewer includes network visualization which involves co-authorship, co-occurrence, citations, co-citations and bibliographic coupling analysis. So the data sources that are supported for doing this analysis is a Scopus, Web of Science, PubMed uh, with conversion and also plain text. So uh, I would also like to tell you that why beginners in this area actually love VOS Viewer because there is no absolutely no coding required for this process. It is very interactive and customizable. Visuals are available for every study and simply uh, it is wizard based workflow. So useful uh, tool for literature review. Yes, of course, it is a very useful tool for literature review research planning and as well as thesis preparations. So without wasting any more time, let's just walk through the steps right from installation to generating your first co-authorship network. So uh, the installation process is super easy as you can see that uh, all you have to do is you just to open the uh, common Google tab and type VOS viewer download in the bar and you can see that uh, the first site that appears is the download site for viewers viewer you'll open the site as per uh, the kind of device you're going to use you can just tap on the particular device related uh, files i use mac os so i'll just download the mac os uh, systems and here i'll go to the downloads and the file takes a little bit of time for download not very much uh, so this is the interface that opens uh, you'll have the data you don't have to need to do anything with the data this is a manual for viewers viewer uh, it is a, a 55 pages document uh, which gives you a overview and idea about how you can uh, explore the different tools and techniques that are there uh, in the view is interface and this is the actual icon which uh, you are going to transfer it to or you can just copy it and you can paste it uh, on the desktop so with that we get the software installed in our system and now without wasting any more time we should dig deeper into how we can utilize the software so let's begin uh, with the exploration of how we can use the software ahead uh, before using the software we need to know how to handle 
databases so uh, if you have the scopus uh, uh, scopus id password you can just use that so uh, let's take lung cancer as the topic for today uh, so if if we want to search documents which relates lung cancer with pneumonitis uh, suppose uh, say we can have uh, here we can see that we can have 5920 documents we will export that csv uh, and we will explore all of them uh, right from one to uh, the maximum value that is available and this we can export all the available information and export it in the form of a csv file as you can see that the document uh, is getting up uh, it's getting downloaded and uh, this exporting requires a little bit of time if the number of uh, file size is a little heavy uh, which is true in this case because it's uh, 5920 documents which is quite a number of uh, files so it will uh, take some time so uh, after it is done uh, i'll speed up the process a bit uh, so after this is done uh, what we can do is uh, we can just uh, visit the software interface now we'll click on view os viewer and this is the interface that opens up we will see that what is the file name that has been created it's scopus 11 in this case we'll go to create and then next we will uh, go to the scopus because uh, the kind of database we are using it here today as scopus so we'll use scopus and we will browse through the documents and as we know that we have downloaded scopus 11.csv this file will automatically open and then next and now uh, firstly as beginners let's see the co-occurrence of keywords which is the main feature of vos viewer as uh, so we have a load of uh, words here so we will increase the number of occurrences uh, it is very important to know that uh, the more the number of occurrences of a keyword the better is the connectivity because that is uh, the number of times the words is occurred across all the globally reported documents so here uh, we bring down the uh, number of keywords to below 500 or just around 500 so that uh, we can filter through them because filtration is a very very important step now we will verify the selected keywords here uh, is the actual work that you need to do you just need to sit down with your pen and paper and you need to select each keyword very carefully so that you can actually highlight uh, what you want to show in uh, your paper or your review article or research article through this uh, particular study of uh, or the bibliometric mapping so it is very important to select and deselect all the keywords here uh, so that the map that you generate is relevant to your research and uh, the presentation should look nice uh, so no junk keywords or repeated keywords should be there now we click on finish and just uh, right after we click on finish we'll get to see the first visualization of the mapping so Mm, let's wait for some time yeah boom so that is how the bibliometry looks like here it's very crowded because we have chosen a topic which is very common that is uh, lung cancer and pneumonia how they are linked together so this is the kind of mapping that we are getting here so we can take a easy way of um, saving this is to take the screenshot or before that we can do some we can play around with the visualizing effects and uh, we can see how it looks and uh, there is detailed information about everything uh, that you can see over the analysis area in the in the manual that has given, been given with the uh, VOS software and you can use that manual for better understanding of these analysis now uh, let's see that um, the layout changes are being done and uh, we're running the layout algorithm for that uh, so this also takes a little bit of time uh, now uh, how to uh, save this uh, is very easy basically we can just uh, click on uh, cluster colors uh, and we can change the colors we can change uh, the type of layout which is there and then uh, we can also select the weightage of occurrences uh, we can also uh, remove the 
um, loud colors from the clusters and we can put some subtle colors instead of that according to our choice this is completely depending on your uh, requirement we can also check somewhat with the advanced parameters we can change the resolutions of the colors and this will give us a uh, better uh, outlay where we can get a variety of cluster colors which will even uh, with higher resolution they have clustered all the keywords that are available and here we can change the cluster colors according to our choice and we can just make this bibliomat uh, this um, bibliography look so beautiful so uh, like that we can play around with the colors as you can see that with each selection the cluster colors are changing and that is making this uh, look more beautiful and uh, in this way you can just also use this feature to highlight the kind of keywords that you want to show as more important we can also get a density visualization map like this and all these uh, can be actually saved from the screenshot option that I'll be showing later on here so uh, yes, so now uh well after this uh we also need to know that how we can uh, if we don't have the scopus id password we can use the pubmed uh, as another form of source uh, that can be exported and the files can be used for the uh, similar kind of analysis so we'll use the same topic that is lung cancer and pneumonitis and we can see fifteen thousand two hundred seventy seven results um, maybe because of the topic uh, it is uh, the database is stronger in pubmed as uh, compared to scopus and now we'll go to vos again uh, we'll use the same uh, strategy that is we'll create and uh, then we can see uh, we'll choose the file from the folder from where it is got downloaded so i uh, will select pubmed lung cancer set so it's named as PubMed lung cancer set so we will select that from here yes we got this file so we'll click ok and then next and then the same process next and then the number of keywords has appeared um, the number of keywords let's say we'll uh, reduce it down to uh, around 500 uh, let's keep it at 500 here so we'll click on next and here uh, again the filtration steps come in so uh, we will be uh, selecting that um, if we choose the co-authorship of countries we can also do that uh, from here uh, so a uh, number of citations minimum citations from a country can be state at uh, two and these are the number the, the countries that are there so you can see that how we can generate uh, the bibliometry between like different countries all across the world we can also see the modularity and the association strengths that are there uh, the meaning of these terminologies you will all find it in the manual of us viewer that has been provided along with the software uh, clicking on each uh, country can also so, show us the individual associations of these countries uh, publishing papers on this particular topic uh, with, uh, with the other countries. So we can play around with the visualization effects a bit and then uh, we can update the layout. So these are the things that we can do. Uh, we can also use the scale uh, to fit in to increase the size of each nodule or we can also vary the size of words and uh, we can also play around with uh, the cluster colors over here as i have already shown you uh, previously here also we can play around with the cluster colors let's say i select brown so you can see that how the cluster color of united states has changed from brown to uh, green 
so let's close it now and uh, we are almost done with our presentation today uh, so uh, let's see how we can save these results so we'll go to uh, file again uh, I will uh, try to create the same thing from PubMed so we'll select PubMed for the purpose then uh, we will select any set uh, which is available in PubMed and we'll click next and we'll select uh, co-occurrence in this case see these are the co-occurrences between different authors so we'll click on yes and you see so this is the result which is not very appropriate so if you get skewed results like this you should avoid taking screenshots of them because you cannot include uh, anything out of them so uh, here what we are doing is we are using co-occurrence uh, and then next and then uh, the word count is 328 if we keep the repetitions for five then we can use the filter uh, to actually filter out or uh, keep the words that we need and finally we get uh, a map from there so this is from the PubMed database. So we have seen that how we can create um, a similar kind of study from different databases. They would look different, and uh, yes, obviously they will also um, they will also reflect uh, different results. Uh, so it's your duty to analyze them, and you can predict uh, what kind of research gap is there, or what kind of research is going on, or whatever you want to. Uh, show in your uh, publication database so this is the kind of density map we can generate again so finally we want to take the screenshot we'll click on screenshot and we'll just save it in our required destination I've just uh, you can name the file according to your uh, convenience suppose say I name it uh, anything can be given a b c d x y z so we can just save it and you can see that now this file which i have just saved is now visible in the desktop if we click on it it's in the png format so it's very very easy to insert this one in your word file of course you know how to insert the png in your word file right so we'll just open uh, a word document a simple word document and all we can do is uh, we will just uh, copy this picture that we have just generated and then we'll just copy and paste it and that's it it's ready for going into your publication manuscript so with that we come to an end of this process and we could see that it is super easy and not challenging at all so in whichever field you are working you can just use this tool as a very handy and user friendly and it, that's why it is the beginner's favorite so uh, drop a comment below after you are done with installation and generation of your first bibliometric mapping and i'll be very happy to see the results of your research so i can say that that was your first deep dive into bibliometric mapping using bos viewer as a tool and remember every uh, scientific trend uh, is built up by a network of people, papers and patterns and VOS Viewer lets you see that very beautifully. Keep exploring and let data tell its story. So don't stop here, VOS Viewer is your gateway to smarter research insights. If you found this helpful, give us a like, subscribe for more and drop your questions below. We love geeking out on bibliometry. Until next time. Keep exploring, keep analyzing and keep contributing to science visually.